Hey there, paper crafters. My name is Sherry Roth. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Alberta, Canada. And today I wanted to pop in and share a quick video on how I created this pencil, which is the perfect accent for um, teacher's gift packages, teacher cards, back to school photos, um, even school photos, anything teacher or learning related. So it's such a cute little accent and really, really simple to make. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and I've got a piece of bumblebee cardstock here. And I am going to, you want something that's relatively long. I mean, I guess it depends on the size of the pencil, but this piece measures up about six inches. I will trim it down a little bit. But the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm starting with a large piece because I want to do some scoring and it's easier to score when you have a larger piece of cardstock to hang on to. So I'm going to score it every quarter of an inch. So put that in here. For this paper trimmer, the light gray is the scoring tool. So that's a quarter of an inch and then I'm gonna go half an inch. And then I'm going to cut at three quarters of an inch. So I've got two score lines on there. It ends up being three quarters of an inch. And then I'm going to trim this down to about three, four and three quarters. Okay. And then we'll set this aside. While we have the paper trimmer in, we're going to bring in a piece of silver foil. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing, except I'm going to score every 16th of an inch. So each one of these ticks is a 16th of an inch. So I'm going to do the first one and score. Again, I'm starting with a larger piece and I'm gonna move it up just ever so slightly to the next tick and then the next one. And just keep going until for however long or wide you want it. I'm going to cut. So this is gonna end up being about a quarter of an inch. So then look at that detail. It's got that same detail that if you look at a pencil, that metal bit. So it's got that same kind of detail on there. Okay, so I think we are done with this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my postage stamp punch and I'm just going to slide this in here and just trim off the end. And that gives me that jagged bottom so it looks like the pencil has been sharpened. Isn't that fun? All these just little, little things that add to the detail. Okay, so I've got a piece of Calypso Coral cardstock. It's three quarters of an inch um, wide. And again, it doesn't matter how long. It's easier if you start with a longer piece so that you've got something to hang on to. And I am using my Project Life corner rounder. Any corner rounder will work. Because this is narrow, it does help to flip it over so you can see what you're, what you're doing because it doesn't quite round up or line up nicely. Just sliding it in like you normally would just because it is a smaller piece. So I'm rounding the two corners the top two corners. And now this is obviously way too long. So I'm just gonna trim that a little bit. Okay, so now we can start to assemble. So I'm gonna flip this over, put a little bit of adhesive on the back here, whoops. And then I'm gonna decide how big I want my eraser to be. That looks pretty good like that. And then for this, I'm going to use just a little bit of multi-purpose glue and put this across like that. Okay, so while that is drying, actually that could probably move down a little bit if it wants to. There we go. So I'm gonna let that set. And now I've got a piece of crumb cake cardstock 
And this again measures three quarters of an inch. I'm going to bring in a ruler and a pencil. And I'm going to measure five eighths of an inch up and just put a little tick mark there. And then do the same on this side. And then I'm gonna find the center spot. So three quarters of an inch, it would be three eighths would be a quart or half. So I just put a little tick mark there and then I'm going to cut from that center tick mark up. That's gonna give me my pencil tip. And then I'm gonna bring in just a black marker and just color that tip so it looks like the lead. You can use one of our Stampin' Write markers as well. Okay, so I've got that. Flip this over, add a little bit of adhesive to the back. And then this goes on like this. We can trim this off. And there's our pencil. Oh, it looks like I got a little bit of a black smudge there, but that's okay. So there we go. There's our fun little pencil. Now let me share a layout that I did with it as an accent. So this is, you guys can't see the whole thing, so I'll move it around here. Okay, so there it is there. So you can see there's my pencil. I used the August Paper Pumpkin kit and pieces from it to create that. I used a retired alphabet set here for the title and then also the background. So kind of a fun little accent for a layout. All right, I will include a photo of the layout at the end of this video for you to watch or for you to see a full view of the video. All right, so thanks so much for watching. I will have a full supply list in the description below. All right, take care.